Hi there. Now, for this question, we're told that in this diagram, OAB is a sector of a circle with center O and radius 8 centimeters. Angle BOA is alpha radians and OAC is a semicircle with diameter OA. The area of the semicircle OAC is twice the area of the sector OAB. And what we've got to do is find alpha in terms of pi for three marks and in the second part find the perimeter of the complete figure in terms of pi for two marks. So as usual if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. So to do the first part we know that the area of the semicircle is equal to twice the area of the sector. So therefore, if we work out the area of the semicircle, it's got a radius of 4 centimetres, so it's going to be pi r squared, so that would be pi times 4 squared for the area of a circle, and then we just divide that by 2, giving us the area of the semicircle. And this equals twice then, and if I just create a square bracket here, twice the area of the sector OAB. And the area of a sector, well, it's the angle, in this case alpha, compared with a full turn, which would be 2 pi radians. It's this fraction of the area of a complete circle, which would be to times by pi r squared. And the radius for this circle that the sector came from is a radius 8. So that would be pi times 8 squared. And then we just complete the square bracket there. Now for this the pi's cancel okay so we can take that out and if we work this out we've got 16 times pi divided by 2 well that's going to be 8 pi and on the right side here we end up with 64 pi 8 squared is 64, the 2's cancel, so we're just left with 64 times alpha. And so if we divide both sides by 64, alpha equals 8 pi then divided by 64. And this reduces, you can cancel top and bottom by 8 here, so alpha equals pi over 8. Okay, well... Moving on now to the second part where we've got to find the perimeter of the complete figure in terms of pi then. So if you'd like to have a go now at this, again I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this second part then, okay let's just put that down, part two, we've got to find the perimeter and to find the perimeter then, all we need to do is add up the distance round the semicircle here, the arc length then, and the 8 centimetres here. So let's start with the semicircle. So the semicircle will be the circumference divided by 2. So that will be pi times the diameter, or you could use 2 pi r. So that would be pi times 8 divided by 2. And to this we add the arc length here. So that's going to be a fraction of the circumference of the circle with centre O. That fraction will be the angle alpha, which we've now seen is pi upon 8 radians, and that's compared to 2 pi radians for a full turn. Okay, 2 pi radians. And then this will be that fraction of the complete circumference of the circle which would be to do 2 pi times the radius. And the radius is 8 for that one, OK? And then we add this distance OB, which is 8 centimetres. For the arc length, you can see that the 2 pi's cancel one another, and you get the well-known formula for the arc length of a, of a sector, I should say, when the angle's given in radians. It's the angle times the radius. So 
tidying this up, what have we got? Well, for the first term here, this comes to 4 pi. Then for this term here, the 8's cancel, so you're just left with pi. And then you've got plus 8. So we end up with a perimeter then in terms of pi of 5 pi plus 8. And that would be measured in centimetres. Okay.